Hello students, welcome to the discussion of sample paper of CBC 2018. I understand you would be preparing well and you would have prepared already the entire curriculum of your 12th syllabus. Now before proceeding, let me tell you we have discussed section A, B and C. Now we are going to discuss section D and section E. Section D will be comprising of only one question which is an open-ended question. So you can see here, section D will be having only one question. This one question will be having four marks. So you will be getting four marks for this. This is an open-ended question, means you cannot say there's a definite right answer, definite wrong answer for this. So if you try to give a perfect answer for this, you'll be getting a full marks for this question. Let's see what kind of question will come. There will be a statement or paragraph given, a scenario will be given to you and you have to comment on the given scenario. Here you see in section D, we are having Raj recently read about magnetic field due to a current carrying wire. To make his learning clear, he performed an experiment. He took a current carrying wire and a magnetic compass. He observed that the variation of magnetic field. He collected information as follows. The magnitude of magnetic field changed from 0.25 Tesla to 0.05 Tesla. So I'm underlining these two points. As he moved from a point nearby wire to some far off point. Second, his observation was at a particular position, the magnetic field changed its value to magnitude of current as magnitude of current was varied in the wire. So at the particular position, the magnitude of current you change, the magnetic field also changed at that position. Third observation, there was no change in the direction as he moved the compass away from the wire. So there was no change in direction of the magnetic field as he moved away from the wire. He has moving away from the wire his compass. He shared all this information with his classmates. First, suggest some other activity related to the same topic which will help a student in understanding variation of magnetic field. Now, we want an activity which will give you the understanding of concept of magnetic field due to current carrying wire. The scenario will be somewhat like this. What he's actually doing, he's actually taken a current carrying wire. And nearby to this current carrying wire, he's actually holding a magnetic compass. Now, this magnetic compass will entail you the direction of magnetic field. Now, he can, he can also know the value of magnitude of magnetic field by some source. As given in this, the magnitude of magnetic field changed from 0.25 Tesla to 0.05 Tesla as he moved from a point nearby Y to some far off point. That is, his first observation makes it clear that as you move away from the wire, the magnetic field is decreasing. The magnetic field decreases as one moves away from the wire. The magnetic field decreases as one moves away from wire. So first thing that's quite clear, moves away from the current carrying wire, moves away from wire. This is the first point. Now how can you write this? As this magnetic field is decreasing, this should be inversely proportional to the distance r from the wire that is, if you are going to evaluate magnetic field at a distance r from the wire, this magnetic field at this point will be inversely proportional to the distance of the point from the current carrying wire. Now, second observation, you can see here, we are having at a particular position, the magnetic field changed its value as magnitude of magnetic current as magnitude of current was varied in the wire. Now, second point, it is not given whether the magnetic field increase or decrease, but it's given that magnitude of magnetic field is dependent on current. Magnitude of magnetic field is dependent on current in current carrying wire. Magnitude of magnetic field is dependent on current carrying wire. That's quite obvious. It's dependent on current within the wire. It's dependent on current through the current carrying wire. Now we want to give some other way how to find out the same thing. Now if for his first observation, see the question here, suggest some other activity related to the same topic which will help a student in understanding variation of magnetic field. Now what you can do, you can take a current carrying wire and you can take a magnetometer. A magnetometer will give you the direction, will give you the value of magnetic field at a particular position. You can even connect a rheostat. You can even connect a rheostat with the current carrying wire in this way. Let's say this is a current carrying wire 
and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this current carrying wire. You, you, this must be having some resistance. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show its resistance here. This is a current carrying wire and this is the magnetometer which I'm going to place at some particular position. Now we are going to connect this with a real start so that with the help of real start you can vary the current within the circuit and you can perform the same experiment so you can connect a real start just take a magnetometer shift this magnetometer near and away from the current carrying wire you will get the required observations next one next part of the question we have also mention how a moving charge deflects if it is projected parallel to wire give your answer for both positive and negative charge now we all know how a moving charge gets deflected near a current carrying wire if it is projected near a current carrying wire see here suppose we have a current carrying wire this is a current carrying wire let's say a positive charge is projected along this direction we all know that force on a charge is given by so you mentioned this point force on a charge is given by f is equal to q v cross b where you have to use q with proper sign if it's positive you do cross product now magnetic field is actually into the plane of the paper so if you do cross product you'll be getting force on this positive charge towards the current carrying wire that is it will be deflected towards the wire so we got the first answer it gets deflected towards the current carrying wire towards the wire now negative charge if you have negative charge that means minus sign will come here and if you do q v cross b with a minus sign that means force on a negative charge if we take a negative charge force on it will be away from the wire that is it gets deflected from the positive wire. This is for positive charge. A negative charge will be repelled by the wire or it gets deflected away from the wire. A negative charge gets deflected away from the wire. So this is how they will be deflected positive and negative by using the formula f to q v cross b now see here we did suggest some other activity related to the same topic which help will help a student understanding the variation of magnetic field now one more part you have to also mention that the direction of magnetic field is not changing as you move away from the wire because third observation is there was no change in direction as you moved from the compass moved from the compass away from the wire that means you have to write that there was no change in direction as you move away from the wire and you have to also mention you have to show how the magnetic field lines are varying so there's some other activity related to the same topic which will help a student understanding variation of magnetic field so you what you do you also draw the magnetic field lines that will be very much helpful so that third observation is pretty much clear draw this circular magnetic field lines and as they move in this way near the wire so at a particular as you move the compass let's say this is the compass the compass will always show the same direction as you move away from the wire although the magnitude will be changing for the same current if you move away from the wire the magnitude will start decreasing will be decreasing so this was all about this open-ended question you can also show some other way of your own choice but this would be a good answer representing the answers in this way.